Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on my channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is August 24th, 2014, and in the early morning hours in Northern California, in Napa County, up in San Francisco area, there was a 6.0 earthquake, which has destroyed a lot of different things. It hasn't destroyed the whole town or anything, but it was a pretty big shaking event. Now, as far as the injuries and stuff, that will have to be told as the day goes along. My channel, I show the spiritual side to all of these things and how we're nearing the end of the age. And even when World War III and the great earthquakes happen upon the earth. Now, there is another, there is a machine on this earth called the harp machine. And it's known to be able to create earthquakes and things used by the Illuminati and Freemasons who are actually doing everything by the Bible to get to the end of days, to get to Armageddon. In the Bible, every single character is heading towards Armageddon. The devil's going to Armageddon. Jesus Christ is going to Armageddon. The whole Bible is everybody going to one apex point. But they have this machine known as the harp machine. And one of the most telling things to know when they use this machine, like this looks like a harp machine event, like this earthquake was created. And this is one of their signs, 33. See how they make sure this happens right at 3.30 in the morning? The number 33 associates with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was 33 when he was sacrificed on the cross at the time of the crossing. So you can see right here we have the 33. Well, there's some other things going on around this area. We had in the same exact area, right near where this earthquake was, Robin Williams passed away. Robin Williams may not seem like much of this, but in the Bible, what is coming down from heaven or is cast out, a Satan-type figure is seen as a clown, like a, just like Mork from Ork. Remember right here where Robin Williams played Mork from Ork, and he had this big V on his chest, and he used this finger as the accuser. He could point his finger at anybody and control them. You see this big V right here? This represents in the Bible what's known as the fifth age. You see this ancient glyph? Do you see this guy coming down with the V on his chest that looks like a clown? This is a glyph of Akhenaten. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free. All of these Egyptian things are supposed to be here. This is the accuser coming down from heaven with the key to open the abyss and begin the end of days. There will be this large nuclear event, and he's going into this door into Obama. And then the red horse of the apocalypse starts riding like this red bull. means war. You see Russia up here, this bear, right here? And it has the Vatican in its mouth. The Vatican has the Russian Orthodox Church ready to rise up after the grievous head wound. And you can see the Mork character coming right there with his finger and the big V for the fifth age. There he is, coming, right there. That's what all this represented. This is where the earthquake happened, right about here. See these little orange dots and things right here? This great big orange one and stuff right in here? Well, this is right where the earthquakes were, the 6.0. Robin Williams passed away right here. I show how all of the earth is mapped out to show it's coming. You see this large dog? It represents the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne and the star of Bethlehem. The left hand side is the accuser. Here he comes. The right hand side is Jesus Christ, where he sits in mercy and grace. See this phoenix rising like a rapture event right here? And it, all this stuff comes up. All this great deception comes up. Right up here, near San Rafael, and Raphael is well, that's even the name of an angel that supposedly helps you get to Ascension, one of the archangels. But right above him, you can actually see this dog. 
See how this is a dog perfectly right here? Right where the Golden Gate Bridge is. The Golden Gate Bridge crosses us across and we can go through the dog star and go into heaven. See, there's the dog. Just like the Golden Gate Bridge right here. All of this, is, the whole earth is done this way. This is God's project. And there's not one thing that's not going according to scripture. In the Bible, we're nearing what's called Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51, the end and judgment. And it talks of basically the bear coming. You see right here? And it says Jesus Christ is going to put the hooks in the jaws of the bear and draw him out. Draw out everybody for World War III. See the bear? This is a great earthquake event coming right here. Here is the bear. See how the earthquake is in his mouth? Right there. A great earthquake is coming and it's going to hit the USA. Something large. It could be a, a, a planned cataclysmic event with nukes. And when the USA is crippled, everybody in the world will rise up and go against Israel and start World War III. And God will destroy most of the earth. It's all planned in the Bible. Right there. There is the bear ready to rise. This is why Russia is rising up. See how it's right by his mouth? Right there. Perfect. See right by every line? There's more to this. I have everything mapped out over here. It shows the new world order coming. Perfect. The bear. So this is a harp machine event. And this matches what we showed over in Australia about the end of days beginning. Let's show that quickly. This is Australia near the Northwest Cape. And as I keep showing, all of this is meant to happen that's coming. It's, it's in the Bible. And I've shown that it's meant by God. You see this whole picture here? Right here is what's known as an antenna array system. Like a part of the harp machine used with antennas to create something during the atmosphere to create these things. It's called the harp array. Now right here you can actually see the bear. See the bear right here? And in his mouth was that harp machine. Exactly as we just showed over there in San Francisco. We're nearing the end of the age. And human nature is for to, to really only care about a date. In other words, right now your whole body is going, well tell me a date. And if you don't know a date, I don't care. Be quiet. And if the date's too far off, shut up again. In other words, nobody really wants to hear what I have to say. But guess what? I'm telling you anyways. So here you go. Here comes this bear thing. Even though I don't know a date, there's going to the end is coming one day. So there you go. There's the bear. And right there was the hooks in his mouth. Down here, it actually shows the rapture event, just like the phoenix. See the rapture event of the phoenix? See the bear rising up. Right here, the northwest cape, you can see right here like golden chain, like the chain of gold, like all of us going up to heaven. See this boat right here? This is our rapture ship. Here is actually the phoenix, seen like a seagull. And then we are stepping through this solar system, through a stargate, exactly as when he comes down. See him coming down as lightning and us going up as lightning through a stargate right then and there and then comes through this shark which represents that guy coming just like that see the shark coming out as we go in perfect everything right there so that's what this whole earthquake was it was the harp machine nearing the time when everything's getting ready for the end of the age when the USA is betrayed by nearly all of the world Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us all.